Hey everyone, um, I am going to do some seed starting today. I have all of my seed packets laid out. I did that last night and I have all the supplies that I need. Um, I'm going to do peppers, some birds, snapdragons, lettuce, chards, uh, some fennel and some other flowers, uh, straw flowers, more lettuce. I'm going to go ahead and go get all of that started. I've been procrastinating getting this done for far too long and today we're going to get it done. First thing I have to do is get all of my labels written out that I would suggest Pencil or garden marker are going to be your uh, ones that you won't have any issues with. Um, I cut out my own labels. These are just uh, vinyl blinds. I cut off the, cut the blind into pieces. So that's all I do for that. I'm just going to write these out really fast. Um, and then get the soil going. Peppers first. I want to give a quick reminder, uh, when I do all of my container gardening, uh, seed starting, any of my planting, for the most part, I use one product. Um, right now, I'm using ProMix. Um, I get it at uh, any home improvement store likely carries this. It's just the product that I'm using right now. It doesn't mean you can't use anything else. Uh, it doesn't mean you shouldn't use a seed starting mix. It doesn't mean you can't use whatever you want. This is what I use. I don't have any problems with germination. I don't have any problems with the fertilizer that's included in it. I really like it. Um, this stuff, like, uh, I've been finishing up the same bag that I've been using all week, um, and it is dry. So, I get some moisture into this, get it mixed up and broken up so I can use it today. Let's try that. I go a clump. They all work in a way that I don't make a mess. Definitely more. Hope I brought enough water with me. Otherwise, I'll have to go get more. We are six weeks off from our average last frost date. Based on the way the weather's been going this year, that may extend. It may not be the same date. Of course, that's why it's an average. It could be earlier, it could be later. Um, but I think the weather's pretty tall tale this year. It's been exceedingly cold up here in the north. And I think it may last a bit longer than we would like. Because gardeners were all ready for it to be spring. We're all <laughs> we are ready to walk out of the house and not put on a coat. I certainly am. I am ready for that. So this is mostly mixed up. I'll probably go ahead and get started. Do one seed tray at a time. Um, it is not worth washing my hands, so I'm not going to go do that. I will just put these packets off to the side and clean up a little bit as I need as I go. It's just going to continue to get messy. Um, I'm going to fill both seed trays with soil right now, and then maybe wash my hands, and then do the seed starting. Um, these trays are plug trays. They again came from a prior order that I had placed, and I kept them around because free planting trays. Um, I am in the process of placing my order for this year. I'm, uh, actually earlier than I was last year, but things are already sold out. So everybody must be thinking ahead to get all the product that they need. And I am a small home gardener and not a business. So if I don't get what I need, that's fine. 
I can always buy it from someone else. But uh, the rest of the products, I will get that order placed and I will share it when it comes in. Oh, maybe I'll share it before. Maybe I'll share it when I place it so we know what's coming in and why I made those decisions. Now I'm going to get these filled and probably wipe off the table because I'm making a disastrous mess right now. All right. Take care of getting these filled up. This takes me longer than I think it will to fill here's with potting soil. I don't know why. It does. Okay, I'm gonna set these aside, wipe off the table really quick, wash my hands, and get my rolls labeled up. Okay, set this aside because I will, as always, continue to need that. This one. I forgot I have to cut these down. Just got these. Um, I don't remember the brand. I should probably check into that sometime. I don't love them quite yet. They're heavier than my last ones. But, um, last ones were getting old. I had broke the clasp, so I don't need to do ones. Uh, charred variety and charred white violas. That's my first time seeding these straw flowers as well. So, put your cover off on that. This is the one thing about this set. Is it? I don't know if it just needs to use more often, or again, or what. Okay. And this started. I am just going to tap down the soil that is in here lightly. Bell pepper mix. This one I've used before. It is taped, but not taped very well. Excellent. Um, okay. I'll rescue these. One. Two, because I'm using the larger seating trays, in this case, I'm gonna put one per, um, and then whatever doesn't germinate doesn't, and I probably won't need it anyway. So, this is pretty easy to do. So we can get this done quickly. Salt pepper mix, check. Long pepper blend. Giant. Uh oh. Well, let's see what we have if we have enough. Oh, we do. Awesome. And that will be it for that seed packet. Pepper Big Red.
Golden Cal Wonder. California Wonders. Um, some of the biggest bell peppers I've that, that succeed for me. And uh, this brand, Botanical Interests, usually come in a little packet like this, which is nice because you can keep the packet. There's actually information on the usually on the inside of the packet. Yeah, this one is printed on the inside, so that way you have seeds are in here. You have a whole information book on your seed packet. That's a nice thing that they do. Just enough. Well, this will be good for my seed stash to get rid of a couple packets of seeds. So I like to eat Swiss chard. It's also incredibly pretty in flower buds. And these I usually sow a couple in a cell. I like to grow them in a little. I like to grow them together. So I'm going to put two in each of these. We'll see how they do. If I only get, if I get sparing germination in some of these, then I will just combine some. No problem there. This is Swiss chard mixed color, heirloom variety, American Seed Company. I'll do the same process that I did on the last one. I was introduced to chard at a local Rotary Botanical Garden sale. And I thought, wow, that's pretty. Um, I like to saute it with butter. The, these seeds are from Dollar Seed. They're cheap. They don't come with any information on the packaging. Um, but they are a dollar pack, which doesn't happen anymore. So I just seed this pretty heavily. Again, this is another edible that I plant as an ornamental on the edges of my vegetable garden or in my flower beds. I really enjoy that. That's good. Lettuce butter crunch. This is one of those seed packs that you can get for two for a dollar, three for a dollar, four for a dollar. I don't know what they're on sale for right now. Three for a dollar, maybe. All edible food. Um, heirloom variety, butter crunch. It is. It doesn't say. I assume it's both colors. We'll find out. Let's see what terminates. And then the leaks down here at the end. Let's close this one up first. These are Liberty Garden Leak, large American flag. Started this packet last year. This will probably close it out. Nick was a surprise favorite last year. I need a lot of potato leek soup. Um, I'm not being incredibly careful at how exactly how I'm sowing these seeds. So just trying to hit each cell with a couple seeds. Now we'll cover off on that packet and then I will just do light covering of the seeds with the soil that I have left. And cover. Forget me nots, which I should have started last year because they don't flower this year. They take a year of growth before they flower. No time like the present. Small seeds. I'm just not to cover these too tightly. I'm gonna sew this whole packet and then I will thin what I don't need. There's not that many seeds in here. So, awkward Sunday. I wish I had a picture for you. Maybe I'll find one and throw it up with my flowers. 
Um, when I save my own seeds, I just have these little craft packages. Just put them in there. This Nigella will also self seed in the garden, or at least in my experience, it does. Viola's are interesting. They will self seed in a lawn, in your flower bed, 20 feet away. They live their own life and no one tells them how to live. These are carnations. This is my first time starting these carnations. So I'm hoping it goes well. I have two rows here. Hopefully it is everything I intended it to be. Bronze funnel is another one that I saved. A brown, the bronze funnel seems to be a perennial where I'm at. Um, and it comes back in the same location, but I saved some seed. Honestly, no one needs that much. No one needs that much seed saved, but never know. Oh, I like to add bronze fennel to the middle of my flower beds because it gets nice and tall. And you, oh, I think a nice little pop. Um, I'm sewing it pretty heavy just because I saved it myself, and I'm not a seed company, so I'll give myself the benefit of the doubt. I have spurred snapdragons. These ones are hard to sew, man. Okay. These are some of the tiniest seeds you've ever seen. I don't know if I can. Zoom in on that. And they usually all attach to the plastic. Lucky I can get some out. I'm lucky. Okay. Oh, same process as all the other ones. Do this inside. And straw flowers. Again, first time straw flowers require light to germinate, so I will not cover those at the end. Again, this is a product from Dollar Seed Company. It had a 92% germination rate when it was packed for 2021. It was 2023. We're in all for the best. Seeds are usually pretty good year to year. Um, sometimes you give yourself a little benefit by sewing a little heavy. It's not 92%. I guess that's okay. It's a reasonable germination rate. Cover the rest with soil. Add the straw flowers. Else, and we will be good to go. All done. Succeeded. We got it done. This is not all of the seeds starting. I have to do get it done. Pop a lid on it. Turn on some lights. Make sure it stays moist. Wait for those baby little babies to pop up. See you next time.